So, I'm on this uh, roof, it's a roof of a garage and uh, they installed this metal roof over an existing old roof but it uh, leaks. So we were called in to fix it and to look at it and here's the issue. The issue is you have a relatively flat roof and then you have a pitch roof and where these two roofs meet is a transition and the homeowner what he did was he used that black self sticky tape and um, he sticked it on here and it leaked and then he added some tar on top of it and it still leaked so I came here last week and I explained to him why it's leaking what happened is the water was this was well stick it was sticking so good to the to the roof but this side this side opened up a little bit and especially where this is you see this look at this you you were sealing this but you could not seal behind there and water would get in there behind this tape and this would be sealed and it will push the water back underneath here and you can see the dirt there look at the the brown water marks you see there brown water marks all this was collecting behind this tape and pushing it up here so we need to fix this so it cannot happen now we need to see what how this transition was made here and what we need to make this to seal this. so I'm going to take this apart see what it looks like. okay take this out I want to see what it looks like right here Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. There's no transition. It's only about a half an inch. That's horrible. You cannot make a transition like that. Half an inch and then and, and, and it will not leak. So we found the problem. Now we've got to fix it. So I got this product. I've oh, got to take this tape off. More tape here as well. All right. Look at that. So, how do you fix this? I'm gonna have to lift this up like that and make a transition, or I can make a transition over this. Huh. What's the best thing to do? Huh. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a transition over this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this silicone patch see that this is an amazing product I'm going to use that so let me get started um, I'm going to clean this up I want to clean most of the tar up because I cannot just put over existing tar and caulking look at it People always ask me, do, should they take the tar off? Should they take the caulking off? I cannot imagine people want to go and put a product over this tar or caulking. It doesn't work. So here, yeah, let me fix, let me let me um let me start cleaning this up. Okay. Normally, what I do is I use this. You get it clean so you don't have caulking and stuff.
clean this up. I use lacquer thinners to get most of the things clean. So I use a rag, lacquer thinners. Because everybody has tried something and you cannot go over everybody's trying. And garbage. So you really have to make sure you prep before you do anything. Then you know you have a good job. Okay, I'm not the only one that does the work, okay? Uh, yeah. This is my wife yeah. and she is just as much involved as I am. She helps cleaning and she does the camera work. But uh, never think I'm the only one. Alright? <laughs> Look at me, sweetheart. <laughs> Alright, so the next step, like a, so the next step is to, uh, well, let me first say, preparation is the most important part of the job. Prep, 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 prep. I cannot stress that more. People ask me if they should remove the tar or the caulking. I always want to say yes, but you know, I know how much work's involved, but it took us about an hour to, to clean this whole roof. It's not that much. All the tar and everything, we took it off. My hands are a little bit sore because of lack of thinness, but at the end, it's a good job. Okay, so essentially, I would like to tape this off to make it look like a nice job. So you want to put tape like this, um, just so you can have a border to work to. So. That's what makes the, the job look nice. So if you can do that, it's nice. And then tape it off like that. So that would, that would be the next step. Where you want to stop the, the, the fleece or the job so it looks all even. You can do that like this. All right. Alright, my next step is get this out. This is an amazing, amazing product. Look, silicon flash. Look, it's thick. Very, very, very thick. You cannot stir it. There's a little bit of residue at the top, but you cannot stir it. Now I'm going to explain to you. Okay. I'm going to explain to you why I use this. This is thick, so it will not run down this roof. It will not run down once I paint it on here. Let me explain to you. Once I put it on there, I can paint it on there. It stays there. Look, it doesn't run down. See? This is what's so nice about this product. You can put it on like that. And it's thick, a little bit hard to work with, but it is unbelievable good. Now, all right, I'm going to do this. Get this on there. And then, where's the joint? See the joint here? There's the joint there, okay? I want to show you what I do at the joint. So we're going to go past the joint, okay? Well, let me do it this way. So I need to... Okay, let me let me show you first to do this, okay. So I'm going to put this in here. And uh, I want to show you what I do at the joint there. So I put this on there. Over the... Over there. Okay, now, this is the secret to any roof repair, is this uh, fleece. That is the secret. Now, another secret is you need to, you need to cover your joint here. 
I'm gonna lift this up. See there? I need to cover that because underneath there. Now it's covered. Now I can go over. Like that. See that? That is how you do it. This is super, super strong now. So now, I put my screw in. Okay. Screw that down. So I don't want to screw into the fleece. The reason is the fleece will curl up. So you want to just go above the fleece like that. Let me screw. Okay, here we go. That's it. Now I know that is sealed. So now it's time for the check it out. Very nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Now you see what has a silicon patch. It's thick. Let me show it to you again. Look at look how thick it is here. You see there? Look how thick. It's thick everywhere. Amazing, amazing product. This will seal anything. And because it's so thick, it will, uh, nothing can penetrate through it, but the fleece, along with it, makes it such a good product. Sun cannot destroy it, UVs cannot destroy it because it's silica, and it's flexible, and the fleece makes it strength, gives it the strength. Otherwise, if you don't put the fleece, it will crack right where the joints are. You don't want to do that. But I screwed it down, everything is tight, so there's little movement. And this is an unbelievable product. It will last for a long time. You can see that. Alrighty. I'm the, I'm the flat roof doctor. I know a thing or two. Because I've seen a thing or two. Blah, blah, blah. 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 My <laughs> wife, who did most of the work, give her the credit. <laughs> Thumbs up and subscribe, please. Thank you, bye. All right, this is the next day. Uh, this is like uh, maybe 24 hours later. Still tacky, but it's almost, it's, it's already cured. It takes about uh, 36 hours or two days to cure. But uh, you can see it is so nice and look at the thickness here. It can get very thick if you want to. It is really nice material. This will never, never leak again. Wow. Unbelievable. Super, super, super nice. Hey, I like this. Unbelievable material and uh, this is how you fix the seam. Now, if you have a brown roof with white on like, I don't know if it's going to be nice to you. But um, it works. It works very good for any kind of uh, seam repair on any roof.